Hello everybody, welcome to game number 23 with the vampires. Vampires. Kemri. Win on the record, rookie team. So, this is uh, this is not a bad matchup, is it? The only problem is that, obviously, we're the, we're the overdog here, and we get no money to spend, we get no bench. So, you know, we can, we can cause the Kemri a lot of trouble, and hopefully we will. But also, they can really bang on us. They can really bang on us. So, if things don't go well removal wise, we could we could end up out of the game. Don't start recording if you don't want to, Iliad. Don't let the computer voice boss you around. Hey, Ali. <laughs> no, you don't understand. I have to do what it tells me. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, this is an interesting matchup. I, yeah, I think we're I think we're favourites, but. Yeah, if, if we get if we get beaten up, then yeah, it's a bit of a shame we didn't get offense as well. Yeah, the wizard could could make things tricky. I, I guess we just go for the quick score, don't we? Quick score is pretty great here. Get a get a go at a short defense against the Camry is nice. The fact that they've chosen. The fact that they've chosen um, defense, yeah, cheers. The fact that they, oh, cheers. The fact that they've chosen defense, uh, I think it's a, it's a good choice for them. Not the greatest record. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully some things to exploit here. Where are we, Dode Math Wise? Too fast for you. No, oh, I know it. I know it. Oh my, is that just two wins away? It looks like it, doesn't it? Okay. Obviously, two wins is the shortest route. May well. May well be more than that in reality. More games than that in reality. No bench for the Kemi either. Yeah. yeah, let's just let's just try and bang it in. I think we put this guy here just so that on a blitz, this guy isn't assisting a blitz on this thrall. Man, it's going to be a little tricky here because these bloody, what's they called, tomb guardians are in the way, aren't they? It's, it's hard to get around them. Might be, a, it might be kind of potato-ish. <laughs> token guy on this side of the pitch to pretend he's defending against the blitz hey okay, real is amazing kick is not great mm. does this mean we we don't play it like i was gonna do maybe 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 we don't go for the pass this turn i think that's sensible Hey, Al. Good afternoon. Get you a level. 11 SVP. Whoa, that's, uh, that's quite the ask. I could go for the uh, throw rock, couldn't I, actually? Mm. Let's go for the pickup first. I'm re-rolling this either way, so. Go for the pickup first. Nice. Could just go for the instant full wizard, couldn't he? Ain't no bloodlust. I 
I think it would be nice to have him in range. I don't think it's worth the dodge, though. We'll just play for the three turn. And now I guess we start trying to dodge some of these out. <laughs> cool. Cool. Two touchdowns and I'll steal MVP. <laughs> Can you just walk it in on Camp Candy? That would be cool. If we have that opportunity. Fireball. No. Did I make you play Blood Brigade? Ah, oh, yes. Tomorrow. Oh, did I say today? Oh, yeah, sorry. I meant tomorrow. I meant the third. Sorry. I'm an idiot. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's the deadline. <laughs> <laughs> I did I did know it was tomorrow. I just I'm just dumb. Cheers, cheers, Demi. Tomorrow is the deadline. Sorry everybody. Tomorrow is the deadline. I'm an idiot. Yeah, maybe to like maybe. It's it's interesting, I guess, isn't it? Um I'm not sure how much that does help. Like, you know, genuinely. I'm not sure if it helps a lot or if it doesn't help much. Probably you know, depends on the on the individual right, and depends how like how you watch as well. You can you can really you can really put an effort into thinking as you watch, can't you? And you know, thinking things through and stuff. And, or or you can just like laugh at the the streamer, you know, raging and calling chat dickheads, and then you don't get so much. <laughs> then you get so much out of it. Nearly forgot again, really. Yeah. Yeah, no, sorry, yeah, it is tomorrow. I I think I think I thought today was the third, even though last night I it's funny because earlier on when I said I was planning to spend today leveling my underworld team, I thought, hmm, but I, I'm sure I was planning to spend two days leveling my underworld team. And and now I know why. I was planning to spend two days leveling my underworld team. Today and tomorrow. That, that makes sense. <sighs> yeah, I, I think I'll just stick with the um I wonder if there is some way. To, uh, just out of interest, let's see if I can. Uh, where where is it? There's somewhere that I can. There's somewhere that I can check, isn't there? Uh, does anybody know the link? Is anybody? Ah, oh, there it is. Here we go. Yep. Yeah. Ah, retract. I can retract. I wonder if that's allowed. I wonder if that's allowed. But yeah, because I could, I could reconsider and. Uh... Oh yeah, halflings as well. Yeah, halflings. If you there, there are currently more teams in the dark qualifier than the light qualifier. So getting into the light qualifier would maximize your chance of qualifying for the main event. So how they work is it that they split it into two sections, right? Light and dark, depending on the fluff of the teams. And, and then uh, I think the actual tournament itself is just the eight teams who get through the qualifier, right? Or or maybe 16? Maybe 16. So, but so yeah, so you'll have more chance of like qualifying to the, to the you know, major actual through the light side. So halflings could be a pretty good shout. Hmm, okay. I think we're just dodging here, scarily. Okay, good, good dodge. Good dodge. You're a friendly. Can do, can do. Okay. Four re rolls. Maybe I could have. Mm, maybe I could have re rolled that. I don't know. It's always a. You, you're always faced with the interesting. A tough decision, I think, right? With a. Re rolling the bloodlusts because. You know, yes, you want to re roll those bloodlusts if the re rolls are available. But also, you still don't want to, like, do those early turn re rolls when you have other, you know, important stuff to do in the turn. So. I'll give it a throw. Ball's going to be slightly exposed here, but. 
I think it's okay. It, it's not even really exposed. Takes the speech of the boy. <laughs> Careful, Jackal. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Do the water? Oh. Oh. Interesting. Oh my god. We have been we have been rolling some roller cubes so far this game just quietly. I think I need my fan on. Let's try and get the mic out of the way. Hey, Albo Rambo. Hello, hello. Welcome to the chat. You should still should still ban him for that as everyone is now saying it in their minds. <laughs> yeah, you make a good point. You make a good point, HDK. You make a good point. Could even end up with an 8 turn stall here, we'll see. Like, I don't really want an 8 turn stall. <laughs> um, I guess I, I guess I should, like, really aim to, to score, like, turn 5 or something. It's probably about perfect, isn't it? Give the Kemi a 4 turn. Give the Kemi a 4 turn. It's probably about optimal for us stealing. Although we're kind of on to score turn 5, which should be okay. A 3 turn. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's what I said, isn't it? Score turn five. Is it? Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay, wow. So we roll down as well, so yeah, it's, that makes us scorier, doesn't it? That definitely pumps up. It, it pumps up stalling as well, but not as much. Ah! Uh, but not as much as it pumps up. Scoring. He might go for the wizard here, eh? Stun on the throw is quite nice. Maybe we should be blitzing with this vampire. The follow here into the blitz with this guy is... Well, I'm not blitzing with this guy, though. What am I doing here? Maybe you stay then. Maybe you stay. Make sure we've got this back entrance covered. Oh wow. And we blitz you off. That's kind of a mediocre blitz, isn't it? But whatever. And then you can come in here. Oh, we finally failed to dodge. Bad to me. <laughs> yeah, it really is. As a thought. Oh, are you playing as a thought right now, Albo? I know. I know as a thought. Yeah, this, this is an amazing vampire. Yeah. Really amazing vampire. Shift something. Oh, you just lost him ass at times. Shift something to put letters on players. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sh shift right click. Yeah, shift right click. Oh, you playing now, Core Knight? Nice. Shift right click. Hey, Flicky. <laughs> no, don't. 
Don't fight Divi. <laughs> it was just a joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, Divi. <laughs> I'm sorry, Divi. <laughs> He's a one-man army, yeah, he really is. Hey, Beauty Chop. <laughs> it's okay, yeah. <laughs> don't wanna don't wanna make Divi sad. <laughs> hey, you're done. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. <laughs> Ah, bottle failed. Yeah, that's rough. W wizard fail is is really yeah. Uh, is uh, yeah really, really sad times. Yeah, he found it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you if you say the word ek and somebody's name, uh, sorry, if you say the word ban and somebody's name, then then ek then ek will ban them. <laughs> he takes no prisoners. <laughs> Hey, no worries. Panic. <laughs> Bad Elliot, yeah, classic. <laughs> Probably gonna be re rolling Bloodlust next turn. And the ball is not gonna be very safe. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit awkward. Could be a good wizard turn for them, even. Lots of thralls left behind. And then lots of people stuck on the Tomb Guardians. We've ended up in a slightly sticky spot. I would like to submit my candidacy by confirming that my first bad rip is Zakara. I like Zakara. <laughs> I like Zakara. Alright. This is um, a little bit tricksy. The problem is, the, the problem is, I'm 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 blitzing out with this guy, I think. But do we reroll the bloodlust on this guy? You know, because um, if we if we do if we reroll the bloodlust and then move this guy with the pitch and then this guy bloodlusts we're in a a big load of trouble. So so this is a little tricky. I guess we could actually blitz this guy out. Maybe that's the play. And then just do these dodges and this way we can move him first as well. I guess that's the play. Could it even block with you? Keeping these two tagged is okay, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I, I like this square too much, I think. Hmm. Can I change my mind and block now? Shit, I can't remember. Either way, I don't think I'm going to be rolling this. Okay, it's not quite, not the square I wanted, but it's, it's okay, isn't it? We can come here with the other vamp. That's actually the same square as I would have gone to. Uh, I don't know what these guys are doing yet. Let's, uh... Maybe just tie you up, just in case things go badly. Let's just stand you up. Central. Okay. Maybe we reroll this bloodlust. Maybe we roll some dodgers. Because this isn't the... It's not the strongest position ever, is it? Okay, I would like the other dodge. Oh, we do have the re-roll. Would I like the other dodge? No, actually. No, I don't think I would. I might just re-roll that, like, basically just because we've got four. And it does strengthen. They could go for the wizard. It's it's not bad wizard, is it? Like, even if it's just a skeleton, like, they could just bolt and, <laughs> and grab the ball. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just, let's stick that re-roll in. I think it's fine. Alright. Well, will the, will the safety skeleton be a hero? Starting small.
Make an orc team. Do it. Do it to us. I like. Do it. <laughs> do it if you want. <laughs> do it sometimes. Yeah. It would be, would be cool to see you playing Blood Bowl. But yeah, it's also... Uh, not always a nice game to play. This is the problem, right? You watch somebody having fun with Blood Bowl, and you're like, yeah, Blood Bowl. <laughs> and then you play Blood Bowl, and you're like, <laughs> Blood Bowl. <laughs> I really hate when Dewey plays shit teams because whenever Dewey plays plays something, mostly Blood Bowl, but sometimes other things, whenever I watch Dewey playing something, I'm always like, oh, I want to do that. So when he's when he's playing like, you know, I know, Chaos or something, I'm like, oh, I want to play Chaos, and, that, and that's cool. But then when he's playing, you know, Brett, <laughs> okay, not Brett, but you know, when, he, when he's playing some other shit team, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I want to do that. Hey, Whiskey Pirate, good afternoon. How are you doing? More round you have, I see. Yep. Um, a little bit of shame if we don't get the big boy back for next drive. I think I will score next turn, though. Maybe. Yeah, I think I will score next turn. It's a, it's th this this is really um, you know, double plus bad for the. Uh, for the for the for the early score, this really makes me want to stall. To be honest, but I think we probably still go ahead. Oh my god! End of turn fireball. Uh. Oh, we all use the leader view at least. Ah, uh. okay. Got our leader back. Okay, vampire didn't die. Okay. Okay, so this guy. So maybe now we're glad that this guy is <laughs> is on the uh, is on the bench. Um, okay. Well, well now we're in a slightly sticky spot. To be honest, kind of need the score now, but it's a it's a difficult one. I mean, there, there's there's dice rolling to do. No mistake. I ain't afraid of no dice. Ugh. I'm actually terrified of the dice. Ugh. Ah, yeah, fair play to Link. Nice, nice. Yeah, partner push sounds very cool. And yeah, I noticed you were in some pretty, pretty huge numbers. And I should say, if anybody hasn't been over to twitch.tv forward slash Tony Satellite and checked out some, well, a whole bunch of stuff, actually. A whole bunch of stuff. But, uh, but yeah, recently the Factorio mostly. Uh, but most importantly, an extremely, an extremely charming streamer. Then, uh, then go and then go and do so. Uh, yeah, partner push sounds very cool. Uh, all right then. I, I deserve the SVP. Nope. <laughs> no SVP for you. All right. So ten's not bad. Got the big boy back. Got three re rolls. We got three turns to turn him over. They got four turns to score. Interesting position, isn't it? Poised. Poised, interestingly, I think. Let's go a little bit wider. Let's do like this, maybe. I think I just put the big boy there. He, he can't hit the... He can't hit him anyway, can he? Damn it. <sighs> yeah, everybody gets denied first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was like, like seven times or something? Maybe not seven, like five or something? Yeah. I, I'd, I'd given up, effectively. Um, 
I, I didn't think it would. I didn't think it would ever happen, but it, but it does. If if you just keep if you just keep applying, yeah, yeah, you'll get it eventually. I think that the people who have the biggest revenues get there quicker. But you know, I, even with a small revenue, I think if you know, following repeated applications, eventually you'll you'll get there. The big lad, yeah, he has taken a few knocks. It's true, he has. I maybe need to try and be a bit more careful with him. It, it's hard though, right? Like, when you're playing vampires, your players end up in the firing line. Hazard of the job. Not maximizing block hits is extremely good. Especially given the roll on one reroll. High kick's a bit of a shame. Would would hate to see the 5 plus. Hey, Techie. Super vamp. Yeah, it's a very cool vamp. It is a very cool vamp. Okay, no 5 plus is good. Alright, fair play. See you later, Tony's that light. That's a great. Eh. <laughs> Better than my first qualification. <laughs> yeah, that's <Brett's> okay. <laughs> Don't about great. <laughs> Every time I see someone play vamps, I want to do the same. <laughs> Never a good idea here. <laughs> fair. I'm sorry for leading you astray. Yeah, I don't know. Man, I, I really enjoy Vamps so much. It's crazy because Vamps used to be like one of my least favourite teams. I used to really dislike Vamps. There were some, there were some believe it or not, there were some clips of me on Twitch making disparaging remarks about vampires. But, uh, but yeah, especially since I started playing with it. Well, I don't know why I'm highlighting these guys, as, because this isn't an example. But as, especially since I started playing the six vampires... I really started enjoying them. And, and once I started sort of getting into the rhythm of, you know, doing the quick scores and things as well, you know, one, once I, one, I realised that Rick was right and it was a different game, sort of. I mean, it's still Blood Bowl, right? It's still Blood Bowl. <laughs> but, but yeah, they, they do they do play differently, I think, you know. They're w one, of the, one of the most different teams, I think. Oh, okay. Okay, so the scatter is away from us. We can still get there, but only just. Um, can we? Can we realistically have a go at this? Um, yeah, I think we can. Uh, yeah, I think we can. Ah, oh, hey, Muppet. I think we're blitzing him, right? I think we're. Gazing the tomb guard. Uh, oh no, we can't. Okay, so we we gazing the blitz rot and him, and then three plus dodge blitz. I think is the play. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for the raid muppet. Good afternoon. Ah, oh, hey back your dodo. Not hoisting dodo. I don't know. Something about being rowdy and having no hands. Ha! Fair. <laughs> Good effort. <laughs> Um. Mm, okay. Um. We could still. Mm, it's a bit lame now. We could still go for it though. Ah, Goblin 6, ah. Oh, I, that's the wrong vampire. Okay, we can't go for it anymore. That's the wrong vampire. Okay. That's a shame. Uh, we could, like, base the ball. I don't think it's worth the 4 plus Tickles dodge now, though. Hmm, that's a pity. Okay. Well, we'll block this guy, because he's actually, like, quite a big scoring threat, really, isn't he? Um. And then got all these guys tied up. Maybe we, yeah, maybe we can blitz this skelly and park on this throw. Uh, would be quite cool. So yeah, they can maybe bake away here, but it's yeah, it's Cameron. It's tough. 
Maybe we'll just, you know what, let's just stand this guy. I was going to dodge him out, but you know what. Let's just let him take some hits with no reroll. With one reroll. Uh, thank you very much, Batco Dodo. No, no. ten, ten rowdy, ten rowdy handless months. Very, very much appreciated. Yeah, hope you, hope you're doing well. Congrats on the win <laughs> over Timmy. <laughs> um, and yeah, hey Muppet, thank you very much for the raid. The one and only, the one and only. Hey Enzo. I have just played a guy who must know something about the dice. I don't. He GFI'd it over for no reason. Told me it was to get rid of the bad dice. <laughs> then threw a knob. <laughs> Got scattered to just be invaded by Blodge Gut with Ball. Then double up the powder into KO. <laughs> Truly amazing foresight. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I had a, a similar one against DO once. I was Flings versus. Not not quite so bad as that, but I was Flings versus uh, his Zons, and I, I GFI'd a Halfling before throwing it. When I just didn't need GF fight at all. And then I yeah, I, the throw was good and the scat was amazing because of the GF fight. <laughs> ah Ah Blood Bowl. <laughs> I get rid of the bad dice by not playing Blood Bowl yet. <laughs> Fair, that's it. Oh man. Holy shit. Are you are you drunk, Dimmy? <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Dimmy. It was very, very generous of you. You need to Ah. Yeah, well I've uh, not lost yet, have I, Dimmy? I'm not lost yet. We'll see. <laughs> Not a bit at all. We'll see. We'll see how much I lose. Probably, probably the energy will probably change. Um, but uh, what was I saying? I forgot. Shit. Oh yeah. I was, oh yeah. You you need to save that money for your bloody bills, don't you? Jesus Christ, it's ridiculous, isn't it? But anyway, yeah. Thank you very much, Timmy. Really appreciate it. Um. Yeah. He's a sight to see. The rich get richer. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, congrats, I should say. Yeah, congrats to Alias and... Oh, it was Cornite, wasn't it? The other one. Alright, so he's... Oh my god. I mean, honestly? I think, yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. I mean, I don't know what he did with the rest of the turn. Maybe there was something better on, but at, at this point point in the turn. Yeah, I think I like the handoff. As crazy <laughs> as crazy as that is. As crazy as it seems, yeah. Like, what else are you going to do? The vampires are going to get your ball. Um. So, yeah. Fair play. Fair play. Uh, and it's, it's you know, it's alright. It's worked out, you know, not completely terribly, has it? Like, it's, um, we've got a bit of work to do now. Not interested in the surf. Let's just free somebody up. Um. Oh, we want to get someone in range as well, really, don't we? Could be this guy, actually. Could be this guy. I guess we're just going to roll some dice with the big boy, right? We don't do any clever plays here. We just roll a million dice with uh, Chopin. That's the clever play. So, in fact, maybe we get this vamp into range. Or, or this one. I kind of like putting him in and, and, and blitzing off here, though. And if this fails, then we can... If the Bloodlust here fails, we can try him instead. Pushes the throw away from the ball, which is nice. Alright, <laughs> let's go. Oh, no. One of my several million completely irrelevant alarms. Ah, oh, wow. He can fail. He can fail. Alright. Well, big chance with the chemistry. No rerolls. Nightmare matchup, yeah, it's it's a pretty rough matchup for the Kenry. We we are on eleven players, so they always had a sort of an out of they they banged us, they banged us out, but it's not happened yet, <laughs> yet yet I said game yet, not happened yet. 
yeah, they had a wizard as well, but not a great wizard use. Uh, I think they didn't they didn't do a great job with their wizard. Um, but yeah, they got a chance here, right? You know, could just be away with the ball, out of range, if they can, uh, you know, get it. Some more things to go for them here. I say out of range. It's hard to get completely out of range. But yeah, it's looking like one nil at least, isn't it? I mean, at least for them, you know, it's looking like they probably denied the score. I guess if they, I guess a, a pickup fail could could change that. But if they do get the pickup, then it's 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 pretty much, you know, it's it really makes the two and all difficult. Go for the blitz. I think I'll just like the. I guess this frees the tomb guardian to. To come out the front, which is okay, isn't it? Actually, a okay, pickup is in. Let's see. Let's see how many dodges they can do. This one could be freed as well. So yeah, they could free this one. Get. Ooh ah. Oh my god. Hmm. The thing is, like often when you're making these GFI decisions, when you're potatoing and doing these GFI decisions, there's two parts to them, right? One is that it gets you away from the players who are chasing you. And the other one is that it gets you closer to the end zone. But he was already in range of the end zone. He was already, you know, in, you know, and didn't need GFIs. And, like, maybe it would add some GFIs for us. But especially with him not having real and us having real, I'm not sure. I think I preferred the no. I think I preferred the no GFI and then just try and work to get some players around the screen. Would have been my approach. Like, if, if he had to GFI to get to the end zone anyway, the following turn, I'd have, I'd have much... I'd have much preferred the GFI there, I think. But given that, you know, that wasn't a factor, I don't think... Uh, I wasn't a big fan of the GFI. Uh, it, it has got on him the 1-0, uh, it looks like. Um, I'm not even sure if I go for this, honestly. I'm not even sure if I go for this. Um... No, we, we we should right. We we should go for this. I guess it, let's just let's just go for it. I'm trying to think is the a, a better way to do it, but I I don't think so. We're just gonna dodge, aren't we? And then like pass it to the vampire. Yeah, let's um let's gaze this tomb guardian, I guess. And then it's a shame we like can't really yeah whatever oh shit okay so <laughs> shit man it's <laughs> it's a long way. <laughs> Oh, I thought I thought he made it for a second. Holy shit! For a second, I thought he made it. Wow, I thought he made it. Uh, no, I don't, Albo. This is a very different start to what I usually do. This was the Nuffle Altar start where I started with two vampires, two rerolls, and a Nuffle Altar. But usually, my my favorite start is um six vampires six vampires two e-rolls i really like the six vampires um it has its drawbacks you know but i i, I think i think it's certainly the most fun build and uh and i think it's stronger than you know, people generally feel you know i think it's not so i don't think it's so crazy as people generally think i i, I tend to think this about a lot of builds though um and that might just because I'm I'm generally a favourite in most games in, in ladder. Maybe I'd feel differently about them in different formats. It's like the, the Wood Elf Zero reroll build, you know? People people think of this as kind of like a high rolly build. I don't think so at all, you know. Like okay you don't have the reroll, but you have loads of dodge people instead, you know. It's I don't think it's more more risky really at all. I think it's just, you know, the risks in different places. Um took leader instead of safe though. <laughs> Incredible. Um, so yeah, 
So yeah, I, I like the six vampire build and the next team I'll be playing, I've actually already started it. That's a six vampire team. Quite quite looking forward to that, to be honest. This one's been fun, especially now we've got Count Job in the big boy. But yeah, it's and, and don't get me wrong, I've had a lot of fun with the star players. I have a I've had a ton of fun with the Elias. The Elias is cool. But, but yeah, I'm 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 itching to, to start the big team. Nuffles Altar is the minus 50k per star player. Each star player is 50k cheaper. No, what else do I have short hands? No. But like, I think that's pretty relevant. Like, if, if you've got one reroll, like, one reroll is not going to make a big difference anyway, right? Like, you really don't want to be spending your one reroll picking the ball up right. And you're, you're with what else, you're very rarely going to have to spend the reroll picking the ball up because... Like, unless you're playing against Wood Elves or Rats or something, your ball's not going to be threatened that much. And, and even when you are playing against these fast teams, it's still threatened less because you can move around more easily, right? It's not just the other team, like, literally getting your ball that's a problem in these kind of situations. If you're a Bashi or something, coming against, like, Wood Elves or Rats, it's the fact that, you know, if you fail the pick or whatever, then they're in behind you. And then it's it's not just that the ball's on the floor and they can get it, but that, you know, that there's nowhere for you to put it, you know, and, you know, you're going to have a, a hell of a time protecting it. So... So yeah, I, I I like the I really like the the zero real well, wood elf start. I think it's the you know maybe the strongest start for the wood elves, um, and I don't think it I don't think it drops you anything in terms of winning games. Um, all right, ten versus ten. Looks we got the draw. We've like almost certainly got the draw, which is good. Took leader instead of safe throw. <laughs> oh man. Dibby, Dibby, Dibby got safe throwed last night on his, on his stream. That was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. Oh, I missed the square. Oh no, it's it's got me as well, hasn't it? Oh no. The missed square, it's, it's, it's screwed me shit. And it's even like a, a incredible pitch invasion. Damn it! If only I'd clicked the right square. <laughs> I mean, it could have touched back. It could have touched back. But also, like the ball could have been here, <laughs> or 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 here. <laughs> the ball could have been here. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh well. Click the <laughs> click the right square. Damn it! That was poor. I've never seen it before. <laughs> oh, oh, are they out? It's a bit weird that they accepted the touchback if they have, you know, alt F4 or whatever. I suspect this is just a, you know, a natural DC, you know, we'll see. Oh. oh, did it pick for you? Okay, yeah. Maybe, maybe they're out then. Maybe they, maybe, maybe that, that makes it a lot more likely, doesn't it? Then maybe they saw the, the PI and they went out. Hope I roll jump scores, but 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 the thing is, like a one reroll build is a hope I don't roll dub scores build, right? Like yes, yes, it, it makes you yes the no reroll makes you a little bit more susceptible to dub scores. It's true, but less dodge players makes you more susceptible to to dodge fails. So, I think it's I think it's really a wash to be honest. Classic Rick Curse, opponent instantly returns. So so yeah. I just I just think it kind of you know shifts shifts the failures right for me. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what are we <laughs> what are we counting down towards? <laughs> we used the apple, didn't we? Yeah, that's pretty scary actually. I am scared. Okay. So I think we just go full. We go full pressure next turn, right? Like, often don't do that as the vamps. Often wait for them to come towards us, the vamps. But in this kind of situation, I think we have to uh, force the issue right. Take advantage of the... Take advantage of A, the... the 
the incredible PI and B, uh, the incredible LOS, and stand everybody up, get the vamps up the pitch. He's falling back, which is fair. It's all he can do. If he doesn't fall back, we take the ball this turn. But if he does fall back, yeah, we have to set up to take the ball next turn. And I guess I'll have some outs this way, you know. Like, like I say, I, I think he has to fall back here. Like, it's his only option. And next turn, maybe we'll overcommit and he'll be able to, like, pass it to the blitz bar or something. But yeah, it's horrible. Horrible, horrible situation with the Kemi. Okay. Just thinking, am I blitzing the blitz or am I blitzing the uh, skelly? Kind of don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to base the leader thrall on a tomb guardian. So I think we we do know as well that this guy is prepared to. Uh, To, to do the, the big risky plays that he needs to do. Yeah, we've seen him already go for the Tomb Guardian handoff. So, got to be a little bit wary. Because something like that, you know, honestly, next turn, a pass to a Tomb Guardian <laughs> might, might, end up being, might end up being the way to go. Well, <laughs> let's see. Wishing you can re-roll your opponent's block dice. Wow. That would be pretty crazy, wouldn't it? Never played six vampires. Hey, bit wise bard. Seems like you have to accept you're going to lose one or two in the drive. Um, I mean, you're more likely to lose more. I wouldn't say you have to accept it. Like, so, vampires are pretty tough, right? One of the nice things about the six vampire vampires, which is accentuated further in 2020, but it's still the case in, in Blood Bowl 2, is that is that they're tough. You know, so much tougher than the thralls. You know, arm rate and, and regen. And their strength four, which which is kind of toughness because it stop it helps them not not get hit. Um so they're, they're a lot tougher than the thralls, and uh, and so what what I what I'll do when I'm playing the six vamps is I'll I'll put them in harm's way a lot more, and so yeah I'm not sure I'd say that I, I'll accept that I'm going to lose them. It's more likely that I lose them than the three vamps, but I'll be I'll be less unhappy if I lose them. You know, if I lose one of my three vamps, <laughs> I I only have two vamps. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not many vamps. So, if if I lose one of my six vamps, <laughs> then I'll have five vamps, <laughs> which is <laughs> more than two vamps. So, I'll, yeah, I'm I'm less, yeah, I'm less like uh, that's a bit of a shame. I, I'm less, and there's, actually this uh, this stun's a bit of a shame. Is he is he pa passed to the blitz or now? Maybe it could be a thing. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm less I'm less worried about the prospect of losing vampires the more i start with oh yeah and, and then so yeah the other the other flip side is yeah the lack of snacks it's true so yeah more, more likely to for them to, to to walk off but you you've still got stacks to start with and as i say i'll put the vampires in harm's way and not the thralls right i'll put the vampires on the los etc so i i keep the thralls safer then i'm more likely to keep the thralls around and so okay the punt yeah fair needs to put pass on manual doesn't he um so I, I do tend to end up with a snack staying around, but yes, you you can run out, and 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 when do you do? It is a bit of a problem, but you know they're still vampires, they're still really strong, and 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 yeah, sometimes you do have to just say, okay, you know we'll 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 have to eat this bloodlust, or or we'll have to re-roll this bloodlust, you know. Hmm, it's it's kind of okay for them, isn't it? Uh, right, let me think. Uh... 
I guess we're just going for the three plus pick up with the big boy. I think it's the play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Something like that. Alright, well, you um you did do much of the old dice rolling last time, Jobin. How about this time? Bloodlust is good. Dodge is good. Push is good. Big three plus. Nice. Nice. Alright. Redeemed. Redeemed himself. Um, a bit worried about chain plays with this thrall. I think our first priority is to get him out of the way. Shepherd's pie, nice. Hey, Zaka, good afternoon. Good, thanks. Hope you're doing well. Hand off to the two guys who's been the main theme of my tabletop season. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, the thralls become the positionals. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, for sure, Kalon. Those starts are great in league play. We're great in CCL. Starting world is better for long-term development. Yeah. For sure, yeah. Um, yeah, it's definitely better for long-term development, I think. And it's a harder start. Maybe, yeah, maybe. I I had I had I had similar levels of success on the six vampire start as I did on all the other starts I tried. But that could have just been, you know, luck or you know, could also just reflect like me as a coach and how I play. Um And I recognise that yeah, I recognise that six vampires is generally uh, considered <laughs> outrageous, <laughs> but I just don't think it is. I honestly don't think it is. Uh oh, leader dies again. Not today. So, so yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? What I will say, and you know, this is a bit of a, a bit of a prediction, is that 2020, you know, six six vampires is the way to go in 2020. I don't care about the format <laughs> or your 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 competency levels. <laughs> 2020, six vampires. So good. So I got to say the deck is great. I don't even play that year. Yeah, I I don't know, I don't know. Like, it needs you to be a bit familiar with the DACA, which people are, like, generally less familiar with than, like, a normal drive. But... Ah! Coast vacation! Nice, nice. Where are you... Are you are you actually going... Do you mean just a holiday from work, or are you actually going going somewhere? Ah, when I can continue with expense of chore. Nice, okay, I guess. I guess just a holiday from work, then. Yeah, Team for Grinders, yeah, yeah. What's the, what's the record? How are the chores going? I guess you've not you've not played them much recently. Time griefing. Oh, sorry, was I? Um. Do we just go for the touchdown here? We don't really need to, do we? We don't really need to. I would like to try and get rid of the dodge. That was probably not the right guy to get, actually. Did I bloodlust? No. Ah, 
That should probably be that, shouldn't it? Just about. More or less. Barring snookers. We get knocked down less times this way, don't we? Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I say that. Uh, wait, I say that. That's not true, is it? We, we get knocked down the same amount of times. Right. It, it's 44% to, to not knock, get, get knocked down. Um... Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's it's the same, isn't it? It's it's um, it's actually the same. E either way, we're five in nine to get knocked down. Interesting. Of course, of course, we are right because it's just the same. It's we're looking for two. The the knockdown is 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 two is two successes out of six, isn't it? The knockdown is a skull or a both down, or a, a power or a push power. But yeah, the, the both down takes the two me down as well, doesn't it? Which is nice. Hey, Daniel, doing well, thanks. Hope you're good. Yeah, it does, notice it does. It does play itself. It really does. It's so powerful, and you always have options. Yeah. So you, you always have options on the ball. If if the ball's in range, which is which is why the rats and the elves are so much of a problem, um, and you can pressure the pressure the teams pressure enemy teams so much, yeah, it kind of does play itself. Yeah, there are some interesting decisions to make as to when you should stick and when you should twist, as there are with all teams. But yeah, th those decisions remain, and they're kind of like even more important for the vampires because sticking is. Or tw tw twisting is a lot riskier, isn't it? Just because, you know, just moving your vampires <laughs> can can kill your whole team. <laughs> so. Why does it look like Kem Elliot is looking from the Kemi side of the pitch? What do you mean, um, Muppet? Uh, oh, Sardinia, nice. Uh, my cousin just went to Sardinia, actually. For 10 days, and then another 10 days to visit your partner's cool. Pa parents, sorry. Pa parents. Close to the beach, cool. Yeah, hard period at work, yeah, I bet. What do you what do you do at work, by the way, if you don't mind me asking? 1151, nice. That's pretty great. The chore start isn't, um, isn't amazingly strong, I don't think. I'm just going to pull back here, what with the Apo gone. Not going to go for another one. Oh, or do you mean because all my players were like in this side of the pitch and all the Kemi players were behind you? Yeah. <laughs> Fair. A lectern. Did you get a lectern? A lectern? What is is that the kind of thing that you like you speak over? Like you that you, you stand at to speak? Is that what a lectern is? Lectern. Yeah. A reading desk, okay. <laughs> why why do you want a lectern? Out of interest? <laughs> Couldn't find one. What's it for? <laughs>
What would you call a cannibalistic professor? Uh, I'm shit at these things. Uh, I don't know. Is it like something with brains or like flesh or something? Uh, hmm, Hanny oh, Hannibal Lecter. Oh, Hannibal Lecter. Very good. Enzo suggests that I get one now that I can move back. Oh, nice! You move back in. Cool. So I have a place for my book of crutches. <laughs> Fantastic. Carnival lectern. Way. We're going to work in the Chamber of Commerce for internationalization. So I'm responsible for the companies of food and beverage. Okay, cool. Counting for small companies in your region and international congregations. Wow. Sounds pretty um, sounds pretty intense. I can yeah, I, I can imagine you being being kept very busy with that. So is that um, is is that for is that like the civil service? Do you, do you work for the government? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Dimmy. <laughs> no, I'm just sick as eggs. Get out of here. Get out of here, sick as eggs. Eck. <laughs> Disgusting behavior. We, oh, you're, you're autonomous, but you work under the local government. Okay, fair. Possibly. <laughs> ecumenical matter. That would be an ecumenical matter. I don't even know what ecumenical means. Representing a number of different Christian churches. Ecumenism. It's the concept and principle that Christians who belong to different denominations should work together. Promoting or relating to unity among the world's Christian churches. Ecumenical. 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 It's a Father Ted go, okay, fair. <laughs> fair. It's my standard answer at work. Man, I, I bet you're popular when somebody asks to borrow the stapler. It has hard periods and sometimes less. Yeah, yeah. You like it. That's good. That's good. What do I do? I'm a, I'm a full time Blood Bowl super. Um, no, I, um, I, I'm not doing much at the moment. I, I work part time. I do freelance editing. I, I edit uh, academic papers, uh, basically. So it's it's okay. It's I I don't. Ecumenical invented the DACA in 1998. Uh, it, I I wouldn't say I I like it, but I don't dislike it, and it's like where I am right now, and um, it's it's kind of an ideal thing to do, um, you know, for the for the moment. Um, but yeah, long term I'll be uh, long term I'll probably be wanting to um, you know, get something full time, but but right now it's it suits me. And it, and it lets me sort of work in the streams as well, which is nice. But yeah, I do actually have a bit more, a bit more to do this week than usual. I'm hoping that I can get it all done and get the streams in, but it's possible that um, I end up having to take a take a day off. We'll see. But yeah, ho hopefully not. Don't ask your sex robots to do anything using apostrophes. Um. Alright. Hmm. 
yeah, I'm, uh, it's interesting, because, uh, see, I'm a, I, I did a physics degree, um, but then I, I went to do, a like, a, a PhD in robotics, in, uh, in, in control, control systems, basically, control, you know, engineering, but I didn't really learn about any kind of, like, traditional control theory and this kind of stuff, so, <laughs> so, yeah, I, uh, see, I don't know what I am, really. Um, yeah, when I, when I do, uh, when I do start looking for work, uh, you know, properly, then, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be after some kind of robotics thing, but I do need to, like, expand my, uh, my skill set, I think, a little bit. PhD in Europe. Yeah, in, in the UK. In, in England. Sheffield. Sheffield University. So yeah, not a... Um, well, yeah, the, the PhDs in the UK are quite, are quite short, right? Uh, I know I know in America that the PhDs are really um, they're pretty intense, aren't they? But here it's just, yeah, just the four years. I think, how are the PhDs in, in Europe, like, I guess somewhere in between? Usually three years. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, so it's similar then, similar. What's a PhD? Is it Tyro Daka? Yes, Timmy, it's Tyro Daka. Don't, don't, don't reply to him, Torek. Do, do not reply to him. Do not engage. He's a troll. He's a troll. Penis hard drive. <laughs> Differs, yeah. Yeah, here we're, here we're capped at four years. <laughs> we're capped at four years. Mine was about, mine was just over five years long. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a bunch of uh, medical leave that, that meant mine was like artificially, ext <laughs> artificially extended. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we're, we're capped at four years, ostensibly. Uh, I, I know someone who was less than three years, which, which seemed really fast to me. Uh, But yeah, I, I wanted all four years for sure. And I still didn't really get done what I wanted to do. I was a bit... I feel like I... It was a bit of a waste of opportunity, you know. I mean, not really, you know, but... I, I felt like I should have done better. Uh, I did some... I did some cool stuff, don't get me wrong. And, I, and I'm happy with the, the stuff I did, but... You know, I feel like... Yeah. Would have been nice to, to do it more to... Especially because I ended up... Not doing the stuff that I'd gone there to do. I ended up working on another project that was that was really cool, but the stuff that I went there to do, I, I never really, you know, cracked. I never really, uh, I never completed it. I feel like I have unfinished business. Just check. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, strength boost, yeah. I thought it was edge boost. That's the win. Complete the prediction, you won the game. Well done. Thanks for watching. See you for the next game. Bye now.